to the market. Thailand is known for its beautiful beaches, delicious food, unique temples, and fascinating culture. In today's video, we will take you on a getaway trip to Ampava district, which is two hours south of Bangkok, to experience something new like no other. The train runs directly through the market. So we're all competing here for the best shots. <laughs> Living that dessert life. Yeah, there's all these boats that are cooking the meals, so these fruits are rather rare. What? Miklong Railway Market is a traditional Thai market selling fresh vegetables, food and fruits. What makes the market special is that it occupies a part of a train line. A few times a day, a train runs directly through the market. So on both sides, you have vendors selling all kinds of stuff. A lot of seafood. So one of Thailand's specialties is dried seafood and you can also find it here. Yeah, baby turtles. How many to bake for this area? <laughs> I think that's what it's saying, yeah. yeah. I see everybody kind of moving things. Yeah. Yeah, screw yours. <laughs> so we're all competing here for the best shot, I guess. It's kind of fun. <laughs> There's a train. That is so close. And that's it. Everything comes back to normal. All right. Ah. <laughs> Ampava is one of the most popular floating markets near Bangkok, with visitors almost exclusively Thai. Located 50 kilometers from Bangkok, once a small village has become a popular place for Thai weekenders with a relaxed atmosphere, incredible views, and amazing food stalls and vendors. So Ampava Floating Market is an afternoon one, which opens from 12 until 8 p.m. We are here. Now, this area is very happening. Awesome, there's even an ATM here. But first we need to find a place to eat lunch and there's a lot of different choices here. So right now we at one of the Riverside restaurants to have lunch, so the food looks amazing. Alright, so now we are at the local ice cream shop here and trying two of the ice creams. One is vanilla and one is this local fruit called Blimby and it's very sour and super good. And right in front is the beautiful river view. Check it out. One thing is that wherever we've been here, there hasn't been one single thing that we didn't like. Every dessert, every restaurant we've been to, everything we tried has been really good. You know, people here are so nice. We stopped to have ice cream and got some tea and then they gave us one for free. Yeah. So. yeah, the owner said, you have to try this one, it's really good. He gave this to us. It's called the Lotus, but it actually tastes like rose. It's like a rose. Mm. It's like rose water. Mm. Right? It's our favorite too. All right, so this one is, um, this one is, I think, the... A few minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Two very boring minutes later. This is Lotus? Yes. Lotus Rose. 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 Ah, Rose. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. This is one of our favorite desserts here in Thailand. Living that dessert life. Apple cup. All right. I think it's sour. I've never seen this one before. A new fruit. Oh. 
you very much. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Blow it up. Rosie is finding all her childhood things here. Her childhood bubbles, her childhood ice cream. So Rosie, what do you think about here? Not a leaving. <laughs> Water coconuts. So these fruits are rather rare and the last time that we had it was in Vietnam. Now these have a different texture than a regular coconut. So it's pretty cool at the floating market, there's all these boats that are cooking the meals and then the people are sitting on the side here and eating. And right in front of the boats are the menu. So each boat has a different menu, like this one is uh, squid and shrimp and those kinds of seafood. The one in the back looks to be pad thai and some noodle dish. And they're cooking it right over there on the boat. Cool, so now we are taking a private tour to see this floating uh, market from the water. So this private tour costs us 300 baht and it's going to be about 30 to 40 minutes. Hey! <laughs> hey! Thank you. We just bought this. And uh, 25 baht, less than a dollar, I would say excellent purchase. This town is really popular for people that are doing a quick getaway from Bangkok or coming here for a day trip and we decided to actually spend a night here because we really like the vibe of this town. We got a room here so let me let me show you around. So this is our guest house. All right. So this is it. We have the bed here, we got TV, fridge, Wi-Fi, AC which is really important here in Thailand. And the bathroom and shower are outdoors and it kind of has this like balmy vibe, which is pretty cool. And the town of Ampava is pretty cool in which there are all of these guest houses that are right on the river and it's so peaceful and calming here and uh, the guest house that we were staying at is called Chapon Cham Guest House and I'm going to put the details right below for you guys and if you want to come out here, spend one or two nights, this is a great option for you. And uh, yeah, we really like it, especially coming from Bangkok, being there for about over five weeks now. It's a really a nice change being in kind of a peaceful and mellow place and uh, it's really enjoyable.